I remember in college recursive functions threw everybody for a loop. Let's look at one using factorials in Scratch. <laughs> Recursive function in computer programming is a function that calls itself over and over and over again. Of course, there would have to be a condition in which that function would end, otherwise it would be an infinite loop. So two common examples used to illustrate the recursive function is finding the factorial of a given number and finding a certain number in the Fibonacci sequence. So right now, let's just take a look at the factorial example in Scratch. So we'll program finding a factorial of a given number. So the first thing we're going to do is name our program. We'll just name it factorial finder. All right, it comes with the cat. We're going to use the cat. The cat sprite will ask for the input and it will uh, um, return the answer in the form of a speech bubble. So let's create our function. Now in Scratch, all functions are of type void which means they don't return a value. So what we're going to have to do is use a variable outside the function um, to hold the value. So we're going to create a block. We're going to call it factorial. And this is a function that's going to, from options, get a number. And that number will be the number of, in which we want a factorial to be found. So now we need to create a variable to hold the answer. So we're going to go to data, make a variable, and we'll call this the factorial. Okay. So our function from control is going to go on forever. But of course, we know that there'll be a condition that will kick it out. So therefore, we're going to use an if statement. Now we're going to find the factorial 5 by taking 5 and then finding the factorial 4, but we're going to take 4 and find the factorial 3 and so on, eventually working our way down to 0, and that'll be the trigger that'll tell us we're done. So from our operators, we're going to get a greater than, and as long as the number is greater than 0, we're going to keep doing our thing. And our thing is to set the answer, the factorial, to the factorial times the new number. So it would be 5 times 4, then times 3, and so on. So once again, from operator, is going to get my multiplier. And from data, we're going to get the value at present. And we're going to multiply it by the number currently called. And then, and here's the recursive part. We're going to call our function within our function. But instead of the number, we're going to go to operators and use one less. So after five, we'll call four and so on. The number minus one. Now, eventually, the number will work its way down to zero. And when that happens, we, we're going to go under control and we want to stop the script. Okay, so now we have to create a script that will prompt us for the number and spit out the answer by calling our newly formed function. And so we're going to start this from events with a flag click. Then from sensing, we're going to use the cat to ask for a number. So we're going to say factorial finder. large number, question mark. And now we're going to take our function call and we're going to call our answer. Eventually, we'll work our way down to zero. And at that point, we want our cat to say the newly discovered answer. Now, the one thing we must do here is to run it again and again and again. We need to initialize the variable so that it always starts at the same. And we're going to initialize it to 1. 0 won't work because 0 will always 
end up having a zero answer because everything multiplied by zero would always constantly give us zero. So we must start with one. All right, so I click the flag to run our program. I know that the factorial of three is six. So let's see if that works. That worked good. I know the factorial of four is 24. That worked. The factorial of five is 120. Good. And the factorial of nine is 362,880. Bet you didn't know that. Program works. Okay, so there you saw a use of a recursive function to find the factorial of any given number in Scratch. Uh, stay tuned and uh, we'll do the Fibonacci sometime soon.